Hello viewers, welcome back to Croatia's Calling with me. How are we all doing? I hope you're doing well and I hope you the start of your new year has been fantastic. Last time obviously we met was the Zebra game. We beat them on away goals, which was a fantastic bit of business. Two all in the away leg. Managing to get through. We've already had the draw. We're at that draw today. Don't look at the top. Um, but since then, we've got Roods and we beat 1-0. We beat Osiak 3-1 and a draw away from home against Slavon Balupo. We've got some other news as well. But before we get onto that, the Champions League quarterfinal leg. It couldn't have been much harder. But we go to the to the Camp Nou against Barcelona. We've already got the semi-final draw as well. That's what I was confused about. Um, if we beat them, we play either Man United or Real Madrid. Man United have already played Real Madrid in the first leg. They beat them 4-0. So if some miracle does happen and we manage to get through, that's looking likely who I'll be our, our opponent. The other bit of news is we've won the league. Um, that happened. Um, we drew against Slavon Balupo. We needed a win to secure it. And uh, Hadrick decided to go and lose it, which was fantastic. Um, we had Region Day last day as well. Not really much happened. We brought in two players from Lokomotiva. Um, the, I think it's just these two that we brought in, I believe. Yeah, we brought in two players from Lokomotiva. We brought in um, Robert Zecker. The reason I brought him in is because he had three and a half star potential for a Croatian. We kind of need to be, I mean, these are free, so we don't need to worry too much. And Lihik. Uh, Michael Lihick from um, another one from Lokomotiv. Same again, three and a half star potential. I don't think there was anyone else we were looking to, that we bought in in the end. I think that was it. We've got lots of young guys here. Um, Italo, we could pick up for 500 grand um, as a right back option is tempting. Um, I'm tempted by him, but I just want to see what our scouts come back with. Um, do we bring this guy in as well? No, that was a while ago we bought him in. But anyway, more importantly, let's jump on in to the fixtures then. <clears throat> obviously we're going to be playing Barcelona um, at home and Olympic Lyonnais are going to be playing Inter Milan um, at their grounds. Obviously Barcelona are going to be favourites without a doubt. Um, it's going to be a very, very tough game. Hopefully Thomas Tuchel's the manager there as well or T Tuchel, Tuchel, I thought it was Tuchel, but we'll stick with Tuchel for this one. Um, we have a good relationship. Uh, if we quickly go look over at our profile, um, one of our favourite personnel um, oh, he's not there anymore. He doesn't like me anymore. Thomas Tuchel was a good friend of mine, supposedly. Um, doesn't like me anymore. That That's interesting because it was, we were one of his favorite personnel. Um, that must not be the case anymore then. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's quickly go on his, see if we're on his favorite personnel. Uh, information, is it? Or happiness? A friend. Are we on there? We are there. We're a friend. Okay. I wasn't lying entirely. We do count as one of uh, Tuchel's friends, which is good. Oh, friend. <laughs> we carry on. Then. Anyway, Barcelona today. Let's jump on the team selection and select the team for today. So your team for today then will be Livakovic in the sticks with Sosa and Stojanovic as their wing backs. Kamar and Gvardiol then with Ademi and Palacios in the middle with Olmo just ahead of them. Marin on the left, Harovic on the right and Pekovic on the bench. Uh, up top even in the bench, we made up a Semper, Norman, Eitneri, Moro, Talas Magno, Almada and Barisic. Quite a young squad in this team. We're going to submit that team and jump on into this. And fingers crossed, a big, big fingers crossed that they play a bit of a weakened team. But I'm not, not looking too good. <clears throat> so the team for Barcelona is an incredibly strong one. The only player that I don't see in there is Jordi Alba. I don't know if he's still at the club, but Messi starting. You've got Luis Suarez, Usman Dembele, Arta, um, Semedo, Pique, Umtiti, Testeg, and Busquets, De Jong. As I say, Firpo is the only weaker player, but even then, I mean, he's pretty damn good. Apparently, Sos is better, though. Let's compare them two and just have a quick look. I mean, we've got lots and lots of defenders. We don't talk about all this, okay? Uh, Borna Sosa, I mean, I mean, he's not better, is he? Let's be honest. Firpo is by clearly the better player. But we're in a packed out ground today, it looks like then. We're at the Maximia. Hopefully, we can do the business. Let's tell these boys passionately, say, um, go out there and give the fans the money's worth. I mean, they've all turned up in their droves today. Let's hopefully go and put on a performance for them today into the tunnel. I uh, enjoy these matches a lot. We certainly hope he can keep this form going. I've been told he's fit enough to play. Um, I'd rather have him available. He was um, suspended for today, but unfortunately he's not going to play. But let's jump on into this. And there's a few missing seats around, but on the whole, it's pretty packed out. If we can limit Barcelona today with two out, with, with, uh, 
to without an away goal, it would be absolutely fantastic. Um, we're going to stick to this positive mentality at home. Um, thing, hopefully that will work. I mean, we're 27 minutes in and there's a highlight. I should really be quiet. Messi puts a ball into Semedo. Going backwards, but Opsica down this left. It's blocked. Ademi back to Semedo. Messi on this left-hand side now. Still driving in. The best player in the world. In. Suarez shoots. And it's unlucky because it's blocked. Livakovic dives the wrong way. And Usman Dembele's there to slot home I know, to an open net. It's disappointing, but it's the 17th of the season. How good is Usman Dembele at the moment? I mean, that's just not fair, is it? Let's be honest. That is absolutely ridiculous how good Usman Dembele is at the moment. We got so we got a big mountain to climb at this point. Um, let's tell these boys to get creative. If we go losing the first leg, it's going to be incredibly hard to keep up um, in the second leg. But I mean, one nil down at half time isn't the worst result. It could be far, far worse. Um, I think if we can limit them to one, maybe, um, maybe even grab a goal ourselves. I think we'd be in a good spot um, to do the same against Barcelona as to what we did against Juventus. But we'll see how it goes. We're going to demand more early on. Testagen with an early highlight. PK forward now, lumped forward, and Kamar can head on to a demi. Back to Kamar. And Sozo on this left hand side. He's in a bit of space, but easily charged down. Samedo can pick this one back up. Forward to Messi then. Ball forward again. Kamar. Back to Livakovic. Forward again to Kamar. Palacios in space. Up to Petkovic. He looked a tad offside. He wasn't. He was actually. He was offside. So we carry on. 47 minutes gone. Still not really too much to note, but a highlight on this right-hand side. Semedo. Marin tackles. Good tackle from him. Marin ball across and Sergio Busquets gets down to that. Semedo still driving on three and Luvakovic makes that look easy. 48 minutes gone then. Not really too much else to note. <clears throat> Semedo. Suarez. Back to Semedo and Stojanovic clears. Petkovic is looking like he might be able to beat his man here. Can he? Still goes past one. Across to Hirovic now. Hirovic blocked Stojanovic now down this right hand side across and Testagen gets down to that makes a good good save and it's gonna be a corner on this left hand side for us and Hirovic steps up Petkovic is there and Testagen tips that over the bar and he goes out for another corner on this left hand side Hirovic take this one again and Sergio easy deals with that one but Olmo from deep can build keeps coming down this left hand side Olmo blocked and it's gonna go out for a throw in now 53 minutes gone we're showing positive signs. That's the important thing. Let's demand more from these boys. And hopefully, hopefully there's a opening around the corner. At 65 minutes gone, then I'm going to make a few changes. Palacios is not having the best of games. So what we're going to do is we'll bring Morrow on um, in that DLP role. And I think the other change we might make a little bit later, maybe not just yet, maybe at like the 75 minute mark is we might bring um, Talas Magno on for Marin, who's been a little bit subpar today. Speak of which, we're going to do that now. Talos Magno is going to come on in that inside forward row on that left-hand side. And hopefully there's one more chance for this. Firpo on this left-hand side then. Suarez, Firpo gets it back. Um, Busquets, Dembele back to Busquets. And Suarez is in space. Out to Firpo on this left-hand side against Blocked and Stojanovic can clear. Hirovic into the middle. Poor ball, but Demi can come and clear that one up. Stojanovic out to Hirovic on this right-hand side. Back to Stojanovic. You're sitting quite deep at the moment. No real runs going on, but Morrow gets it blocked and De Jong can come away with this. Up to Messi and Semedo on this right-hand side. Still coming forward down this right-hand side and Demi easily clears that one up. Back to Souza. He's got a man over. He goes back inside. Kamar, Souza, Magno back to Morrow and a ball forward to Petkovic. Run on into space. Can he make it one all? It gets blocked, unfortunately. Semedo now can pick this loose ball up and down this right-hand side, but it's not going to come to anything. 1-0 in the first leg. If we can keep it to that, it's not too bad. If we can go away to the Camp Nou and score one, that's all we really need. It's, it's full time here, then. 1-0 to Barcelona. If we go into the second leg, then knowing that we need an away goal, it's not the worst in the world, um, but it's definitely not the best. Um, let's say... Unlucky boys, it was nice to win here, but it wasn't to be. Good team talk. Let's go. What we'll do then is we'll do the um, goals and that from the Gricker game, and then we'll meet up again for the Barcelona game. Seven minutes into the Gricker game, and a great pass from Ike Nuri sets the run of Renier off, and Renier's there to run past his man and coolly slot into the bottom right-hand corner past the keeper. Seven minutes in, 1-0 Dynamo. 14 minutes have passed. And it's 2 0 to us. Pinto of a great crossfield ball for the on running Thomas Shankly, um, who easily buries that down past the keeper to his left. Lovely, lovely goal. I forgot to mention we're playing quite a rotated side today, as you can see here, um, making sure that we're well rested for the Barcelona game. It's 3 0. 
Bruno Amione of a goal from a corner, from a free kick even. Pardo puts the ball in. Amione of his second of the season already. Or uh, only just brought him in and the centre-back is on fire. Absolutely love this guy. So half-time score is 3-0 to Dynamo. Let's hopefully see if we can go and extend that lead into the second half. Full-time whistle has gone then. It ends 3-0 to Dynamo. Lovely, lovely result to boost morale ahead of the away fixture against Barcelona, which you'll see then. We're back. It's time for the Barcelona game. But before we jump on into that, I forgot to mention the board have already set our initial budgets for next season. We've got about £11 million to spend a 50 grand in the wage budget, which is not too bad at all, not too shabby. I'm pretty happy with that amount of money, really. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get in a nice right back. That's the real only position I need now, then, is a right back. Maybe a centre mid, um, maybe revitalise the centre mid positions, maybe move on Pardo. I know he wanted to leave if Athletic Bilbao come in um, wanting to spend that sort of money on him, then maybe we'll move him on. Who knows? We'll see what happens in the, win the summer window. But that just to let you know, that's how much money we've got. But let's jump on into this game then. Obviously, we're, we're away at probably the biggest ground that we've ever played at. In the Camp Nou, 97,593. Uh, sorry, no. It's nearly a sellout. A 99,354 capacity stadium. Easily the biggest stadium we've ever played at. We're four to one favourites. So I mean, well, four to one um, in the odds and Barcelona easy favourites on four to seven. But it's not too bad. We have a one goal deficit. We go scoring first and it's anyone's game, really. But what was actually while we're still here, what was the attendance last game? Um, hang on, I've got the nice fixture view here. This is what I usually use. So it's 39,405 out of a potential of 41,000. So a few seats left around, but not too many. But we'll jump on into this team selection then. I've already set up a team for today then. I think it's a carbon copy of last last game, including the bench. Apart from Catherine's going to come on the bench instead of Norman. Apart from that, I'm pretty happy. Let's jump on into this one then. And fingers crossed we can do the business. So the same formation and lineup from Barcelona today then. No change at all in front of absolutely packed out ground. It's going to be an event today. Um, let's see how we can do. Let's see how Ansu Fati is. Um, I mean, he's developed quite nicely really, hasn't he? Can't complain about him at all. What about Mariba as well? Not too bad as well. Someone we could look to bring in possibly. Let's get a nice scout report of him. Um, we got this um, our last sale in to get two weeks scout report of him. Maybe we can bring him in. Fingers crossed we might be able to. Um, but let's get into the dressing room and see what we can do. Passionately tell these boys we've got nothing to... Uh, no, we're oh Barcelona after last match. Obviously, we just lost to them. Fingers crossed we can turn that deficit over and pull off an upset, really. Let's see what we can do. Into the tunnel. Um, every goalkeeper, even the great ones, has a weakness. He's been playing really well. I certainly hope he can step up. So... The biggest game of the club's history, this quarter, second quarter final leg against Barcelona at the Camp Nou. And the first highlight looking like it's going to go the way of Barcelona. As Semedo goes close once again. De Jong back to Semedo, back to De Jong now then. Who, oh, he's pulled up injured. De Jong is looking like he's already going to go off injured. He's got a slight knock. Maybe he'll stay on, maybe he won't. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm going to drop back a bit more balance, I think. Um, and obviously, one thing we actually did in the Zebra game, and it worked, was we dropped this line a little bit deeper, wasn't so um, pressing urgently, and regrouping um, when possession is lost. Hopefully, that worked for us against um, Zebra. Let's see if it works against today. Let's tell these boys to get creative and carry on into this one, then. And hopefully, we can go and nab a goal. But Messi's about to put a corner in. Messi, ball in. Suarez is there. But it's inches wide, and we, we survived that one. There's another highlight. Livakovic puts this ball out then. Gvardiol and out to Stoyanovic on this right-hand side. He's got a man over who can find him. But Arthur tackles him. He's quite... Stoyanovic is quite slow and sluggish on the ball. Dion gets it back. Out to Messi and Semedo on the overlap down this right-hand side. But who's that coming pacing down? Olmo nearly gets a block on. Dion shoots. And that could be game over, boys. That could be game over. Frankie Dion makes it 2-0 on aggregate. It was a great strike. The guy who's injured as well, you'd never guessed. It's disappointing. We might be demanding more from these boys. It's going to be... It, it always was going to be a hard game against Barcelona, but, I mean, we can come back next year. There's still, what, 60 minutes left of this game. Well, no, 50 minutes left of this game. We might have a great second half. We go score two goals, and we are winning on away goals. You never know. But let's t passionately tell these boys, we owe... Um, 
Barcelona after last time. You weren't that bad, but you can definitely improve. We'll tell that to all of them. And fingers crossed we can get a result because we haven't shown the brightest spark so far. That's It's fair to say. Let's demand more. Let's go a bit more positive with our attacking. And hopefully, hopefully he can go and get a result. Is so just got a slight knock. We'll monitor that. It's only a tight calf. It's not the worst thing in the world. This is a highlight. It's going in the way of Barcelona. Messi to put this ball in. Ousmane Dembele back to PK. Ousmane Dembele slots that one home. And I think that is going to be game over. It's going to take an absolute miracle. We'll have to score three goals at this point. Let's revitalize things a little bit. See if we can change anything. Almost going to come on up on that left-hand side. Players that um, advance forward. I'm going to put Petkovic as a complete forward. And we're also going to bring on Morrow in the center for Demi. Apart from that, that's the change we're going to make. But there's a highlight. I don't know if it's because we're making changes or if it is actually a highlight. We need to score now for any chance of staying in this game. Palacios blocked. Sergio Busquets clears and it's not coming to anything. One more highlight. Kamar, Gavardio, back to Kamar. Gavardio gets it back. There's a lot of passing between the two centre-backs. and plays it back to the keeper. Livakovic. Up to Kamar. Back to Livakovic. Palacios now in space. Place to go and put this out to Hirovic on this right-hand side. He's got some space to run into. Is he going to find a man in the middle? Is he going to be a penalty? A penalty is exactly what we need. If we can get the goal with a penalty... It might still be salvageable. Lenglet is being accused of the incident. It might have been a push in the box by the looks of it, but referee's going to come out. What's he going to say? It was outside the box. Oh, okay. It was a foul on the edge of the box here. It's unlucky. Harovic in. It's not going to come into anything. Kamar. Back across. Fatty picks that one up. And Dembele can break for Barcelona. But great tackle from Kamara. And Palacios plays it back to Stojanovic. And that is not coming to anything. Another highlight then. Semedo back to uh, up Sergio. Back to Semedo. Sergio now up to Arta. Can Palacios pick that up first? No. Suarez goes back to Arta. And Fatty on this left-hand side is going to absolutely tear us a new one. And does. And that is a great, great goal from the young Spanish um, left mid. 3-0 Barcelona, 4-0 on aggregate. It's, it was always going to be a hard game, let's be honest. Um, let's try and demand some more from these boys. And let's see really what happens. Another highlight. Hirovic in. Gvardio, Palacios is there. And we can't even get one to Stegen. Keeping like a rock at the back line. But we've not really we've not really done enough in this game. It's always, It was always going to be hard going away to the Camp Nou. But I don't think we can be disappointed with that result. Um, we're going to tell the boys it wasn't good enough. We're not going to tell them that we don't need to be disappointed because of how far we already got. Um, I don't think we can hold our heads up in um, pride. Get into the quarterfinals of the Champions League in the second season was absolutely fantastic work anyway. Um, and the board, I think, will be absolutely delighted. I mean, you look at it there. They only wanted me to reach the group stages and we got two steps further than that. Absolutely fantastic. Let's look at where we're going to meet up next then. I think realistically what we're going to do, because then you've already won the league, I think what we'll do then is I very much doubt we'll lose against Farazdin because um, we had a 4-0 win at the start of the season. Um, we beat them 3-0 there. I don't think we really need to worry about that. And we beat, well, we drew 0-0 there. I think what we'll do then, I'm going to assume, big assumptions here, we're going to get it through the cup final, uh, semi-final, and we'll join back up then for the cup final. And we'll do a season roundup where we're going to look for in the window. And that's what we'll do. So that'll be Monday's episode. So thank you very much for joining me once again. It has been me. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for stopping by. And I really appreciate if you could like and subscribe down below. Um, so yeah, we'll meet up for the cup final. Um, yeah, I shall see you then. Thank you very much for joining me. Cheers.